end of the show. We're so glad that you all have stuck out here and yes. joined us today. And we are coming to the part of the show is called the Down and Dirty, baby. Oh, the Down and Dirty. Yeah, down yeah. and Dirty, man. The Down and Dirty. Where me and Sean get to take, bring up a, a subject that we all have on our mind. You may not agree. You may agree. But either way, if you have a down and dirty that you want to give to us, we'll be more than happy to have you guys come on the show and give us a down and dirty. But yep. it's just a time where me and Sean get to talk about something very important to us. So, Sean, what is your down and dirty for today? Yo, so my down and dirty, hey, this time of the year, we all know we talk about NFL football. Um, but also at this time of the year is college football. And a lot of things have been going on. Teams have been getting to the Bulls. Shout out to all the teams that won their conference championship yes. games this weekend. Great games. Uh, yeah, Michigan, uh, Bama, uh, Baylor. You know, I can go on and on. All these teams that won Cincinnati. You know, so we have our top four. We have all our bowl games set. With that being said, there's another trend that's going on in college football right now um, where a lot of these coaches – that have been here two and three years and start to build a foundation, just up and leave for the next best thing. And a lot of people are really kind of getting all, you know, up in arms about it and everything. But we got to remember, ladies and gentlemen, that the NFL and college football, especially nowadays, it's a business. It is a business. I don't like it any more than the next guy. But just like when those guys that are top prospects sit out for the bowl game because they don't want to get hurt, prematurely before they get in the draft, they are thinking business oriented. That is what yes. it is. Look, I'm one of these type of dudes that's like, look, I'm going to go out. I'm going to play my last breath, everything. I'm going to do whatever I got to do. And in respect to that, that's that's old school mentality. But a lot of these cats in the game and, uh, and that are playing and coaching, it's, it's a business perspective right now. And they're trying to pr protect the brand. They're trying to protect who they are and this and that. So, look, this is a tough decision. A lot of these kids and, and some of these coaches are have been working their butts off for 10, you know, or a lot of these coaches, 10, 15 years. Yeah. You know what I mean? That they're sitting here and they're, they're doing their things and this and that. And so they get these opportunities and it's like they, they forget about everything that all the ties and everything they had before. And that stinks. It absolutely does. It's a business. So we kind of got to get used to it because it's just going to get worse. It's just going to get worse, ladies and gentlemen. But at the same time, my dad always told me, know what you're dealing with. So if you come into a situation like this where you know that that's a potential of happening, prepare yourself for those type of things. Look, it's not right. I hate it because you, you build up a loyalty, but it's really a farce because it's not a loyalty to these guys. It's a loyalty to what's going to make me get to what I need to get to is that next step on the wrong end. Yeah. It is that way and it stinks. Um, but at the same time, man, you know, let's, Hey, this is a part of life. We gotta, we gotta keep moving and grooving with it. I know that might be an unpopular opinion, um, because a lot of these kids are out here and their hopes and dreams are pending, are, are pending on these coaches that are coming and teaching them when they leave. It's like, you know, some of these kids are like, Oh, well, what have I been playing for and all this and that. So it's rough. It stinks. Um, but at the same time, look, college pros, football is a business. And we got to we got to kind of get to this place where it's like, all right, hey, we got to still keep moving, keep moving and grooving, man. So shout out to everybody making that next move up and all the kids that now have to figure out where do I go from here? You know what I mean? Because it's uh, it's messed up. I know it. it's a rough subject to talk about, but it is a part of life, man. So definitely put some attention on that for real. But then hey, you, shout out to the people who. Um, you know, our assistant coach is now getting the opportunity to step up. True. Yes. I love that. Yes. Yeah. So it, it's a, it's, it's, it, it could be a lose situation, but it all could also be a win. So shout yeah. out to those people who are, 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 are coming up now. Hey, I love my job. But if someone say, Hey, I'll pay you a ton of money more over here. I'll entertain it. Can't blame them. Can't blame them at all. That's what Sean was saying. It's a business. Yeah. It is that it stinks, but that's what it is. Nene, what yeah. you got? Hey, so my down and dirty is it is the holiday season. As we all know, if you guys are going inside of any store, it is a madhouse because people are preparing and freaking out about getting gifts and, and, and worrying about this. And can I get the right thing here? And will it arrive now? But I, I just um, my down and dirty is super simple today. I just won't want people to forget about the little things, forget about just it being the holiday season and that. 
some people don't even have the same family members that they had last year here on earth. Yeah. So while we're freaking out and thinking about all these material things in the store and wondering if we can get what that person wants, let's remember the real reason for the season. Um, uh, I, I truly believe that it's a time where everybody needs to be together, family, uh, uh, to come together and love on each other and show each other how much they love each other just by hugs and, and love. We haven't been able to do that in a while. So um, I know it's all about people care about the money and the, and if you can't afford it, don't do it because I refuse to let people think that this holiday and you buy, you buying somebody a gift that it's going to fix their lives or is that it's going to fix something or, you know, uh, uh, anything you need to remember that money is just, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a material thing that you, you don't, you only need to take care of necessities. If you don't have the money to buy all these really expensive things, don't do it. That's yeah. not the reason for the season. The reason for the season is about family and yep. caring about each other and 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 and, and embracing each other and, and and just thinking about where we have come from last year. So that's the reason for the season. Go out, do something, give to somebody. Um uh if, if you have it in your in your in your extra money in your pocket and you don't want to spend it on crazy dumb stuff that people won't use. Why don't you go out and try to give it to a homeless person or or try to help somebody who's in need? And yeah. uh, call a family friend that you haven't talked to in a while. Tell them happy holidays. You know, we got this is the time that we all need to come together, man. Last year was just such a turmoil year. And I feel like this is the year that since we can finally somewhat get back together, we need to come on one accord and just be loving to each other, care about each other. Yeah. Treat it as, as this holiday as it's important for family to be together. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Shout out to your mom who's saying time and presence are irreplaceable and valuable yes, gifts. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Hey, Something man. that you won't get back, man. There's so many families who have lost people and that they wish they had this opportunity this Christmas to just spend some time with them. That's what it should be about, that you have that those the people that you are looking in their face, that you can tell them one yes. more day, I love yes. you and I care about you and happy yes. holidays. Man, you just do it while you can, because I promise you, every day is not promised to any of us. We don't know the time, the day, the hour for any of us. Yes. Let's treat it like it's important. Let's treat the people that are in our lives so important and let them know. Don't give somebody their flowers when it's too late. Give them yeah. the flowers now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, look, case in point, man. Thanksgiving. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, right. Thanksgiving. I, as you all know, hey, if there are those of you that don't know, um, went back to work for the first time today, tested negative a uh, couple last week. Yes. So, so I got two tests, both came back tested negative. Praise God. I was yes. But as a part of that, I could not attend Thanksgiving at my parents' house. This is actually the last Thanksgiving at my parents' house before they moved. I couldn't attend it. And I'm going to tell you, up until that I, like, up until that day, I felt like, oh, all right, it's going to stink, but I'll be good. I'll be good. But there's nothing like that day because on that yeah. day, it's just like you, everybody's calling, they FaceTime you and all this stuff. And it's like, damn, it's like, man. Man, you don't even think about that. And, and it's kind of just like everybody's calling to say, oh, man, you're all right, this and this and that. But not being there, it's just, it's, it, it's, it's it hits different. It hits so low different. Mm. Guys, listen to what she said, man. That, that hit, that hit so different for me, man, because. There, you know, I, I never really got to that place with it where I thought, okay, man, I, this is life or death. But then when you, when I didn't go and, and I made a joke with my mom, I was like, mom, you didn't call me till like five, six o'clock, blah, blah, blah. It made me think about what it, and my mind goes far places, but it made me think about what it would be like if I wasn't here. If they, you know, if they did off and did their things and, and I wasn't here and they would still go on. And it's a, it's a bad thing to think, but what it did, it forced me to be like, look, take care of your health, take care of those around yes. you. You know, my family did a little thing on Amazon where we all made Christmas lists and everything. And I was going through that at the time. And I was like, my list was pretty bare. And they were like, well, you don't want anything. I was like, look, I just want to be healthy. Yeah. I just want to be yeah. able to see you guys. I don't care about the gifts. I can, the gifts will come and go. I just want to see y'all, man. Like, so, yo, man, all this other stuff, material, all that, it's not important. Don't it matter. It really isn't. It, it isn't. don't matter. Yo, God brought my homegirl from Herndon to Australia and back. <laughs> you know why? Because 
He want did he want her to do this show? Yeah. God loves this show. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, and the Cowboys. But that's a okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we gotta go. This 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 show just turned. It just turned. All right. <laughs> All right, y'all. You already know we love y'all so yeah, much. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in to Let's Talk Football. We will see y'all next week. Same time. You already know it's going down. Either.